Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. This one's crazy, so um, you literally will not believe what happens, I'm just gonna be straight up. Today we're gonna learn what happens when you cross a random guy, a spoonful of Minecraft, and a whole lot of creep, and uh, spoiler alert, the end product ain't very great. Let's get straight into it. So it all started when I got a message from one of my subscribers, Ellie. She told me all about this guy called Dave that was messaging her from a mutual server. The server itself was all about a big Minecraft server, and it appears that Dave just wanted to play Minecraft with her. That is, until his true intentions became clear. So Ellie came to me and said that Dave was being just a bit of a creep. And then she proceeded to show me all the messages, and when I read them, I just knew I had to get involved. Let me go ahead and actually show you guys the messages. So I can uh, tell you what happened. So everything started off when the Discord user Davey G added Ellie on Discord. He started off saying, Hey, with two kisses at the end, which is never really normal to send to somebody you don't know. And then Ellie did exactly what I would have done and questioned if they even knew each other by saying, Do I know you? Dave tells her, I added you from a server I'm in, the Minecraft Survival World one. You seem very nice. Ellie says, Oh, haha, thanks. He uh, went ahead and told Ellie, We need to play together sometime soon. To which she replied saying, Yeah, sure. Are you in the Minecraft server already? I am, but I haven't played much yet. Oh, really? Yes, maybe you could show me the ropes. Without thinking too much into it, you'd probably just assume that Dave here is just a normal nice guy trying to make some new friends on Minecraft. He's not being overly creepy, and he's just talking about the game, I guess. But that is all about to change. Ellie's trying to be friendly and doesn't fully realize what's happening, and then messages by saying, Sure, do you know how to build a house? He tells her he doesn't, but then says, But I could live in yours. She replied with, Maybe, yeah, aha, uh -huh, before this guy messaged, I could even put my bed next to yours. Okay, slow down there, Dave. I, uh, I think you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself, buddy. Dave decided to switch up the conversation pretty quickly by saying, Okay, tell me more about yourself. My name is Ellie, and I like playing Minecraft. That's cool. I like Minecraft, too. I make a lot of Minecraft videos. Ellie says, Really? That's awesome. To which Dave replies, Really trying to make make himself look cool by saying this, he said. Yeah, well, when you're as popular online as I am, it could be difficult to even find time to play. To which Ellie responded, Wow, you must be so busy. Then he says, Busy being a YouTuber? My videos are so good, of course I need to spend all of my time on them. Ellie responds by just being friendly and asks him what his channel name is. He messages back, saying, It's Chunky Dave. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Chunky Dave doesn't exactly sound like the kind of channel I would watch. But this is where it starts to get a little bit weird. Ellie tells him, Awesome, I'll find it when I'm done with my homework. Homework? How old are you? I'm 15. How old are you? To which Dave says, That's great. Dude, wh what do you mean by great, Dave? He then tells her, Technically, I'm seven. And this, of course, confuses not just Ellie, but I, I think anybody who'd hear it. Like, how could a YouTuber that's so popular spend all of his time editing and also be seven years old? She then asks, Technically... And that's when he tells her, I was born on a leap year, so in my life, I have had seven birthdays. It doesn't take a genius to uh, figure out that he's actually way older than seven from that fact. He tells her, I guess you could just say I'm 29. Wow, you're older than me and my Minecraft friends. And he responds, I get that a lot. What do you mean you get that a lot? Like, this message really makes me feel as if, like, this isn't his first time messaging kids to try and get closer to them through Minecraft. Like, that's... Kind of disgusting me. Now that she knows he's 29, she asks, Do you have a job then? To which he says, I'm a YouTuber, silly. I'm looking to make a new Minecraft series. She says, Cool, what's the series? And that's when he responded with, It's going to be called the Minecraft Girlfriend series. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, Dave. You're, uh, you're making a Minecraft Girlfriend series. Like, what kind of videos do you make, buddy? He tells her, You should be in it. And she asks, what would I do? To which he says something disgusting. Lovely. You'd be my girlfriend, silly. I'm sure all of my fans would love you. She says, hmm, I'm not too sure. You'll be great. I, I could make it worth your time. What do you mean? He then tells her, well, we could share a Minecraft bed, be boyfriend and girlfriend, and even do relationship things like own a cat together. I could easily give you good things in real life, too. Yeah, Dave is really trying to hint that he uh, wants something more than a friendship with Ellie here. Ellie asks him, like what? And he says, well, I could give you a lot of money. I could come to your house and we could have a fun time together. I don't think my parents would like that. He tells her, it'll be fine. I can get your parents out of the picture. Like, what the hell is he planning to do? Is this guy, like, much more dangerous than we originally thought? Oh my god. Ellie then says, what does that mean? 
And he said he can make sure your parents aren't there when I come over. Um, I don't feel comfortable with that. And that's when he leans away from just being creepy to uh, going full on pred. Come on, Ellie, let me give you the full girlfriend experience. No, 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 no. What the hell? Ellie rightfully tells him, I don't know. Yet Dave is persistent and tells Ellie, It will be amazing. And then asks, Have you ever had a boyfriend before? She then says, No, I haven't. But then asks him if he's ever had a girlfriend. Now you guys are going to need to remember this because he tells her, Not yet, but I know everything I need to know. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this message, to me, comes off with some incredibly sinister tones to it. Ellie then, of course, follows up saying exactly what I was thinking by asking, What does that mean? And the creep replies telling her, It means I know how I need to treat you. I know what I need to do for you. That statement's very open-ended, so Ellie asked, Like what? And, uh, yeah, this is when Dave says something that, if shown to the cops, would get him in a lot of trouble, not gonna lie. When you are my girlfriend, I need to take you out to a lot of nice restaurants, buy you nice gifts, and give you a lot of love and affection. 29-year-old, saying this to a 15-year-old. This guy has crossed the line, and apparently he just keeps walking and walking and walking until that line is just miles and miles behind him. Oh my god, this guy's a creep. So, this is where Ellie came to me and told me all about the, uh, rich and popular YouTuber, Chunky Dave. She gave me full permission to log into her account and message him myself in the hopes of catching and exposing him. And of course, when I logged into Ellie's account, there were a couple of replies from the creep from the night before when Ellie stopped. He said, Why don't you just let me love you? I, I could really show you how to be an adult. Like, it's a good thing Ellie didn't see these. Honestly, they're, like, disgusting. I figured I could just say, Hey, sorry, I fell asleep last night, as it was getting pretty late for her anyways. But I was just so shocked because he literally replied in seconds. Like, I, I don't know, this is just so surprising. That's okay, my little kitten. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm just so bored. Really wish you were here. Oh, so we could play Minecraft together? And finally, he, uh, he got to the point saying, uh, No, silly, so I can give you the girlfriend experience I told you about. And before I could even think of a reply, he asks me, Have you ever been kissed before? Ahaha, uh, no, I'm only 15, remember? Yes, I remember. I can make it happen. What state are you in? I told him California. That's nice. I'm in Oregon, so I'm not that far away. And for anyone that doesn't know, Oregon is just above California, so that's actually kind of scary. I said, yeah, not too far, and then he told me, Close enough for me to come and pick you up. No, 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 no. Not sure what my parents would have to say about that. I told you before, silly. I'll make sure they aren't even there. Why don't you just tell them that you're seeing a friend? Does my age not bother you? Why would it? I like them young. I like to be their first boyfriend. Really show them how it's done. I tried to point out the holes in his story here and asked, I thought you hadn't had a girlfriend before. He told me, I have met many girls before, just not as cute and sweet as you. This dude doesn't even know what Ellie looks like. I mean, good thing. But I decided to question him on it by saying, uh, you don't even know what I look like. Why don't you change that? He said. I said, I'm not sure I want to do that. Come on, Ellie. Uh, send me a photo of that face of yours. I bet it's gorgeous. I really don't know. Ellie, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. He sent me a photo of himself. This, of course, will be blacked out for his safety, as if this reaches a legal case, I can't just show his face in my video. But, uh, yeah. There you go. XOXO. Like, ugh. I I'm just getting tired of him at this point, and I, I kept it simple and said, I still don't want to. But this really angered him. You are really f***ing me off now. I apologized to him and said, I'm sorry. You should be. Uh, you need to make it up to me. You could be in the Minecraft series I'm making. You don't have an option anymore, Ellie. And not just Minecraft. What the hell? What do you mean? You are my girlfriend now. I am fed up with you not being able to make a decision or do anything I say. My parents won't like that. I don't care about your parents, Ellie. If I come to California, I can pick you up when they're sleeping and just bring you back with me. What would we even do? I have some ideas. I've never been able to do them before. You mean like video ideas? Oh, they could be recorded, but more for my private collection. God only knows what he wants young girls to do on a private video. I have some Minecraft costumes that I would love you to wear. I have a pig, I have a cow, and I think I have a sheep somewhere too. I need you to put them on while I kiss you. What the hell? I don't know about that. Well, you're my girlfriend. You have to do what I say, starting with helping me with my video. What do I need to do? And he gave me the brief for the video. You need to be my girlfriend in it. I'm going to introduce you to my fans as my girlfriend. You need to be your cute self. Make sure to talk a lot and keep me happy. I might be able to be there. You better be. I'm going to call you at around 2 p.m. I'll try my best to be there. Oh, you already thought it was super creepy? 
Well, uh, no, you, you, you haven't seen anything yet. Good girl. Now give Daddy a little oink oink before you go to sleep. Oink. Oh. Good little baby. Give Daddy a moo too. Moo. Longer. Moo. Longer. Moo. Ah, oh, that's it, baby. Right there. Say good night, Daddy. I've been a good little Minecraft sheep. Good night, Daddy. Oh, okay, so this guy clearly has a thing for Minecraft animals. Can't say that's the normal thing I've heard before. It's plan time. I'm going to change my voice to be a girl so I can wait until the perfect time to expose my real voice and catch him red-handed. He said he wanted to call at 2 p.m. to record his new video where I'm his Minecraft girlfriend. So, uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Hello, kid. Uh, hello. How are you doing today, my little piggy? Uh, I'm okay. Good, baby. Are you ready to be in the best Minecraft video ever? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, little pinky baby. There's just a couple things I have to set up. I have to, uh, set up my, uh, okay. recording. Okay, I muted, but, uh, why does he sound like he's clueless here? This is weird. Ah, there we go. My recording system is a go. Okay, uh, still, still muted here, but, like, what, what, what the, 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 what was his channel name? Oh my god, that is, that is unbelievable. Are you there? Oh, uh, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Good, I'm about to start, my little baby girl. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is and today we're back on Minecraft, but with a twist. Today, I've got my gorgeous girlfriend on with me. Say hi, baby. Hi. That's my girlfriend, guys. We hug and kiss all the time. She's the best. Anyway, today I'm going to show you guys our new house. So here's the bed. This is where we do most of our sweet, sweet lovemaking. She kisses me here all the time, guys. She loves me so much. If you like the video, she said she would give me a naked hug. Um, no, 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 no. Hey, you, you creepy f***ing all right, buddy? How's it going? Who the hell are you? Uh, I'm the guy you've been talking to this whole time, Dave. Or, uh, should I say, uh... Who do you think you are, kid? Oh, uh, I I'm just Bolty. I'm, I'm a real YouTuber, and, uh, I'm here to expose you, bud. What's that supposed to mean? Well, Dave, I went ahead and did some research, and I found out that you're not only a huge creep, but you're also pretending to be a YouTuber. Huh? No, okay, no, 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 don't, don't play dumb here. I looked up your channel, and, uh, yeah, no, not hard to do. Found out it doesn't even exist. You pretend to be a YouTuber just to get young girls. That's... you disgust me. You don't know anything about me. Uh, the Oregon Police Department will soon, though, and, uh... You know, just in case, I've got all our chat logs saved, and this call is being recorded, too, so I'll, uh, I'll definitely be contacting the cops, buddy. Why? What do you gain? Oh, I, I gain knowing that you won't be able to do this to so many other underage girls. Like, you honestly are so putrid. You disgust me. Hey, f*** you! Jesus Christ. I can't believe it, dude. I looked up his channel, and I just immediately, that easily, I found out it doesn't exist. Like, and all that to try and lure in, like, underage girls, just gross. Oh, my God. Ugh, disgusting. 